In sections 10.4 and 10.5, we work on optimization. Basically, you are finding the maximum or the minimum of a problem. These are very similar to what you did in section 8.3, so if you're struggling, it might be good to look back at those problems as well. There are many different applications or types of story problems where we're going to see these problems. So each problem is a little bit different. Um, the general idea is to start with some algebra. So it's going to be a story problem. So you're going to have to start with the equation. Sometimes the equations are given to you. Um, the equation might be the hardest part of the problem because that's, that's the part that varies. Um, but that's actually more of a past algebra skill. The calculus comes in after you have the equation. Then you're going to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. Remember, that's going to give you the critical point. So that's going to give you your potential mins or max. Um, remember, you are then going to want to check the endpoints as well to see if they give you um, a higher or lower value depending upon what you're looking for. It often is helpful to use your graph to verify your answer um, or to check your endpoints. So we'll do a couple examples. The folder in your class also has some other examples from the internet as well as some written examples. But let's start with one where we're trying to find the maximum number of apples. So imagine there are 50 apple trees in an orchard. Each tree produces 800 apples. For each additional tree planted in the orchard, the output per tree drops by 10 apples. How many trees should be added to the existing orchard in order to maximize the total output of trees? So we're trying to maximize our production. Um, our production, or how many apples we get, can be written as our production P is going to equal the number of trees times the output per tree. We're going to say that X equals the number of additional trees because notice it says we already have 50 trees. So that means our production is going to be the number of trees which is 50 plus x would be our total trees times the output per tree. So we have to look at what happens to the output as we added those additional trees. We know that we originally can produce 800 apples per tree, but that that goes down by 10 apples for every extra tree. So that means my production is going to be the quantity 50 plus x times the quantity 800 minus 10x. Remember, in order to maximize this, we're going to have to take the derivative. I think instead of using the product rule, I would FOIL this and write this out as a quadratic first. So using FOIL or algebra to expand this, I end up with 40,000 plus 300x minus 10x squared. We're going to take the derivative and set that equal to zero. So the derivative of 40,000 is zero. The derivative of 300x is 300 minus the derivative of 10x squared is 20x. And in order to find our critical point, we're going to set that equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 300 from both sides. So negative 20x is going to equal negative 300. So therefore, x would equal 15. Before we assume that 15 is our final answer, um, we should check our endpoints. 
Now it doesn't say that there is a maximum of how many extra trees we sh could add. Um, but we'd want to check what happens if you only added zero trees. Um, so what you would do is you would go back to your production equation. You would find out if x equals 15, how many total apples would you get? And then you would also check what happens if you added zero extra trees and see what value was higher. In this case, adding 15 extra trees is going to give us the greatest number of apples. Let's try another one where we're dealing with different sets of numbers. So find two non-negative numbers whose sum is 9 so that the product of one number and the square of the other number is a maximum. Again, in this case, writing the equation may be the most challenging part. Let's start with the sum of 9. If the sum is equal to 9, that means that our two numbers, x plus y, will equal 9. We're going to want to solve this for our separate var variables so that we can work with them from there. Because what we're looking for is our maximum product. We're going to take the product is going to be x times the product of one number and the square of the other one. So x times y squared. But we don't want this to be um, with two different variables. So we're going to solve this so that instead of y, we can have that uh, be in terms of just one variable. So that original equation I could write as y equals 9 minus x. This way, my product is actually equal to x times 9 minus x squared. As in the previous problem, before you attempt to take the derivative, let's FOIL the 9 minus x squared and um, distribute that so we can get an equation that's easier to take the derivative of. So we'd have 81 minus 18x plus x squared. Then I'm going to distribute that x through. So the product is actually equal to 81x minus 18x squared plus x cubed. In order to find our maximum, we're going to try to find our critical point. So we're going to take the derivative. We're going to find p prime which would be 81 minus 36x plus 3x squared. So I switch my derivative over to a new page. Uh, our maximum, remember, is going to occur when this equals 0. So let's factor out our greatest common factor of 3. So 3 times 27 minus 12x plus x squared. We're going to divide both sides by 3, and that's going to cancel out. Um, then we're going to factor this. We're looking for two numbers that will multiply to 27 and add to give us negative 12. So I'm going to have x minus 3 and x minus 9. That equals 0. So that gives us two choices, x equals 9 or x equals 3. Okay, we're going to have to figure out which one was the correct choice by going back to our original problem. Remember that the sum was 9. So if one of the choices for x is 9, um, obviously y would be 0. If we're trying to find the maximum, when we square 0, we're going to have 0 that's not going to give us the maximum product. So in other words, x equals 3 and then y would equal 6 would give us our maximum value.